Hey, Scruffy. Wow, you don't seem very excited. Yeah, that was a little bit louder. But yeah, you seem kind of indifferent today. <clears throat> so I have, let's see, your meaty pate with real chicken and tuna and kibble. Okay, well, I guess I'll bring it out. Okay. So I did bring out the water today. And it was here. But we didn't drink it. At least when I was here. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put the food on the table. A little one. Okay. And I forgot to move the chair back. Oh well. Yeah, I think he likes sitting or standing on the mat, so. I'm gonna pet you. I need to shift the chair back. I'll try to remember to do that when I uh, leave tonight. Actually, I think I'm throwing them off. I don't think I want to do it now. Oh, he'll probably just hiss at me. <laughs> so any sudden moves that he doesn't expect, he gets angry with. Like when I coughed last night, he hissed at me. And uh, he Kind of bolted too. It's a very skittish cat. Uh, so <clears throat> I had another. Kind of uneventful day. I was working on my taxes again. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is the first time I've seriously used TurboTax, so it's a warning curve. And then my taxes are complicated enough that I need to kind of understand what TurboTax is doing and making sure it's going to cover everything. Wow, he ripped his head on my leg there. <clears throat> so I finally got past the business expenses section. <clears throat> and I'm um, now into the 1099 ints and divs and b's and all the bank and interest type and investment type stuff. And unfortunately, I've discovered that a bunch of my uh, institutions are not done with the forms yet, so I can't actually finish my taxes until they finish uh, all the forms that I need. But yeah, I kind of figured out this the hard way, or figure yeah, figured this out the hard way because uh, I was trying to use the TurboTax feature of being able to import from my institutions, and so I was trying that all day, and <clears throat> I was struggling with all different types of problems. So the first most basic problem is I think about half my institutions are not uh, supported. <clears throat> so that right out means I have to manually enter all the data myself or yeah pretty much it means manually enter the data myself and then of the remaining half I <clears throat> some of them worked some of them didn't and I 
just having trouble figuring out why it didn't work. And so eventually I discovered at least sometimes the problem was, yeah, the forms weren't ready yet. But the program was actually inconsistent because sometimes, oh wow, he really, I think he used his paws there and grabbed the glove and I heard the claw catch. But yes, so sometimes I got an explicit error telling me, yeah, the forms are not ready, which is nice. I, I like that. But other times it would just say, oh, yeah, uh, error or something like that. Something, something that was completely unhelpful. And so I tracked that down and tried to figure out what was going on. I think in one case, I still don't fully understand the problem, but I think in one case, only half the forms are ready, and so it triggered an error. And then I think in a different case, the problem was that there are subdivisions in the same company, and the subdivisions divided up the forms in a weird way or something like that. And uh, actually, that shouldn't, I don't know, it shouldn't really trigger an error, it should have just said, we only pulled the forms from this one thing, you gotta use the a different institution name to import from the other. I don't know. It wasn't very helpful with the error stuff. <clears throat> and and the, oh yeah, the institution one. So like uh, one I have uh Um, let's see, I think, yeah, I had a bank that also had, like, some investment stuff with it, <clears throat> and, um, I got a form, and I thought it was okay, and then I started moving into the next step, which I actually wasn't really ready to do yet, but I, I clicked the wrong button. And then it started asking me about U.S. savings bonds, and I know it needs to ask you about that because, yeah, uh, depending on the type of U.S. savings bond you have, uh, some of the interest may be tax exempt. And I did have some U.S. savings bonds. <clears throat> But yeah, the data wasn't matching up with uh, the form, and so I realized that uh, <clears throat> yeah, the form I needed, which had the U.S. savings bonds, um, yeah, it wasn't ready yet, or at least I can't find it. So, so I was looking all over the website, and I only found uh, the other side of the stuff with the investment stuff, and I didn't find the stuff with like the banking stuff which I think is where they put the bonds with. And then I was actually looking for my receipts for the bonds. I found one of them. And I know I have another receipt somewhere. I actually had it emailed to me, so I found that one, but I noticed the one that they emailed actually doesn't look like the one that they gave me. And the one that they gave me actually had more information. So I think I need the other one to be like perfectly safe. So just digging through all my stuff, trying to find where I put that receipt. And I haven't found it yet, so I'm kind of annoyed. I know I didn't throw it away. I knew I, I knew I needed to save it. So I know it's somewhere, but it's not where I thought I'd put it. Because I found the other one. So yeah, I redeemed two different uh, savings bonds in the year. So I, I know what the receipt should look like, because I found one of them. I found the first one. And yeah, that's I put it aside in the right place. And then it's like, why isn't the second one here? Darn it. But I also had them uh, electronically send me uh, 
copy of the receipt too, so I do have that, but as I said, yeah, it didn't seem to match. The numbers are probably the same, but yeah, the, the way the way they write it up wasn't as, de as detailed. With the exception as the electronic one they sent me actually had a picture of um, bonds. Yeah, these are the old, old bond types, the paper ones. <laughs> so my uh, parents bought U.S. savings bonds a long, long time ago. And so they finally matured. I think it's like, yeah, 30 years or something like that. So. Okay, I think I'm going to get your food now. Okay. So, and put it on the mat. Yeah, I got to move the chair back. You really like standing on the mat. Get too close. It's not locked in the brush right now. It was first pretty good. I'm not sure why I use... It's probably just because I'm so close. Okay, I'm done. And you know what? I think I'm going to move the chair now. I think he likes his food, so he'll come back. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I did get a little bit of footage of Scruffy today, but not a lot. Um, yeah, because I didn't get him this morning. So this morning, I didn't see him. I kind of expected him to be on the rocks, but I didn't see him. And then, uh, I say mid morning, I saw him sleeping on the orange chair again. And then late morning, he was gone. And I was thinking about taking out his water, but I said, well, I'll wait for lunchtime. I've got stuff to do. And then at lunchtime, he was sleeping on the chair again. And I didn't want to wake him. So then, uh, A little bit later, yeah, I think I was getting ready to go for a walk, so I wanted to go for a walk. Actually, yeah, I needed to do pull-ups today, but I was just kind of really burned out and going stir-crazy from, you know, doing my taxes. I really felt like I just needed to get out and go for a walk or something. So, um, I came out, so I didn't look, I didn't see Scruffy um, at first, and so I decided to bring out his water since I wasn't waking. And then I noticed he was um, sleeping out on the deck next to the scratcher. Um, but I figured, well, far enough. You know. So I'll probably wake him, but you know, I won't scare him because I won't be that close. Whereas the orange chair is pretty close to the door. So, yeah, I came out. And, yeah, he woke up. But, yeah, he didn't get up. He was just looking through the little tunnel on the scratcher at me. I don't know if the camera captures that. Because on the screen it looks really dark. And I don't know if the resolution is good enough to see his face. But I could see his face um, through the hole. So he didn't seem to particularly like me being there. So I put the water down, came in, closed the door. And the moment I close the door, then he gets up and he decides to come over and inspect the water bowl. But yeah, he actually didn't seem to be thirsty, so he didn't actually take a drink. He just kind of sat there 
looked at me for a while and then got bored and decided to leave. So he didn't even go back to where he was sleeping and decided to go around the corner so I couldn't see him anymore. So yeah, I don't think he was that enthusiastic to see me today and that's also why I kind of mentioned that when I first uh, when he first greeted me at the door. He didn't seem to be very enthusiastic greeting me at the door for dinner tonight either. So I think yeah, the whole whole sentiment is about the same today. With him. See, he'd rather be doing other things. So on my walk, I did bring my camera, and let's see. Oh yeah, so I saw. Either a very dark gray or black cat. I think it was more grayish on the top with a, a couple of white markings on the underside. I think I may have seen this cat from a great distance before, and I think I may have thought he was a black cat. Um, because, yeah, his coloring is kind of dark, but it doesn't look pure black. So he was off the trail and uh, but relatively close to the trail so I could get I could get a pretty good uh, shot of him and so I was able to film him and he looked alarmed at my pre presence it was me just shifting in the chair and that made some noise and Scruffy looked I think I shifted the gray mat a little bit. So anyway, yeah, that cat was looking at me for a while, and then, yeah, I think after a while I got a little uncomfortable and decided to walk behind a tree so I couldn't see him anymore. And then walking back from the park, I saw the porch cat uh, on the street. And it looked like he was walking back to his uh, normal porch and uh, I was wondering if he wanted to get pets or not. And uh, it looked like, yeah, he was just more interested in going to the porch. Um, he looks like he went all the way to the door. And so I think uh, it may have been dinner time. So I think maybe that's, uh, yeah, maybe that he was expecting the person to come out with food. So another, another reason why he probably doesn't want pets. <laughs> For me, anyway. So now I'm about to get food. Yeah, at first when I saw that cat, I thought maybe it was a friendly cat. But as I got closer, I could tell. Yeah, it's the coloring's a little different. Scrappy's yeah, a little jumpy tonight, so I'm gonna move the balls from. Just like pate smeared at the bottom of the bowl. He's eating a little faster tonight, too. So I don't know, he might be uh, jumpy and wants to get out of here. So he's eating faster. So to my uh, so the one th well, my taxes yeah the one form that I was very glad that did get downloaded was uh, one from one of the brokerages I've been using the most so I've been swing trading for the last year trying to learn the ropes um, and so that creates a lot of transactions and it can really complicate a. Uh, 
the tax filing from what I heard, so I was actually very nervous about, I actually still am very nervous about like how hard this part's going to be. Um, so I was very pleased that the document was actually uh, able to be imported. Um, and I was looking through the document, and I discovered I did actually trigger like, two wash sales. So wash sales are something I don't fully understand and perceive them as kind of scary because you got to do different things in the way you report them. So I'm going to be interested to see if uh, TurboTax uh, sorts this out all correctly. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, since I don't have all the forms, and I don't know if I want to push ahead and try to do the other sections and risk breaking or skipping parts that I shouldn't skip yet. Okay, I think I'm going to go in. Okay, yeah, Scruffy's leaving. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, uh, whoa, he's coming back. What are you doing, Scruffy? I already ate everything. Yeah, there's no food. Okay, there was a fake out, but <clears throat> I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.